Welcome to Fine Art Friday. Today we're going to study the artwork of Joan Moreau. And I've got some examples of his artwork right here. And I'll put some up on the screen for you in just a few minutes. But he is an abstract artist. And he's actually called a surrealist painter. So those are two words that you can go and define, uh, find the definitions for. Abstract art and surrealism and see what you come up with. So if you look carefully at his artwork, you see all sorts of lines and dots and silly shapes. This piece of artwork is called Figures and Dog in Front of the Sun. So I'm guessing that's the sun. This one is called Snail Woman Flower Star. This one is called The Smile of the Flamboyant Wings. And this one is The, ha the Head of the Catalan Peasant. Okay, so it's very abstract and it's, um, you can't really tell exactly everything that's going on in there and the titles sort of help you understand a little bit more of what's going on. So we're going to take these elements and we're going to create our own abstract piece of artwork um, using lines and dots and shapes and we're going to try to tell a story with that, okay? So all you're going to need for right now is a black sharpie marker. If you don't have a black sharpie marker, any black marker will do. It'll be fine. Um, and then you're going to need watercolor paints to paint with. So go get your watercolor paints and some water and a nice big paintbrush. All right, go get those things and come on right back. All right, so now that you've gathered your supplies, here's my example of what I created. I created somewhat of a little dog and a person flying over it with a nice flower. All right, that's the things that are going on in my painting. This is what my eight-year-old daughter created. And she called these little pieces right here bacon strips on top of her person's head or at the bottom of her person's head. So there's, there's really no wrong way that you can do this. So I want you to think of circles, lines, shapes that you can put together to create some sort of abstract looking person or animal or thing. Okay? So I'm just going to give you a quick example of something that you can do and then um, you go ahead and create your own. Again, I'll put those images of artwork up on the screen for you so you can see them. could easily do a straight line. Let's make that a little bit darker. Okay. He likes to color some of his dots in. Really, anything goes. There's no wrong way to do this. And really, I think you guys are going to come up with some pretty amazing things to create here. So I'd love to see your pictures. If you can post them to the Facebook page, that would be awesome. All right, so here are some things that I've created. Okay, you can add a little bit more details to yours if you're not done. But I just wanted to show you real quick too how to do some watercolor painting because maybe you've not done that before. So go get your watercolor supplies and then come on right back. All right, I added a few more elements while you guys were away. Um, but if you used a Sharpie marker, let it dry for a minute or two before you start painting so it doesn't smear on your paper. If you happen to use a Crayola marker or a different kind of marker, the chances are the marker will run a little bit when you get water on your paper, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. This is just for fun. All right, when it comes to watercolor painting, you're going to need some water to use. You can get your paper wet and then apply the color to that or you can just go ahead and try painting with your paper dry. Either way, you're gonna get a different technique. I kinda of like using both. So I'm just gonna show you real quick something that you can do. Now remember, he used bright, bold colors, but that doesn't mean that you have to use those bright, bold colors. It's just an example, okay? Again, you can't go wrong with this. So I'm going to do an orange moon, and I'm gonna put some orange on here, but I don't want it to be all one color. So what I'm gonna do, is get my paintbrush wet with water and then spread this color out just like this. So it spreads out just a little bit. All right, and then I wanna add some water here already. And look what happens when I have some water on my paper. And then I add a color, so let's add some blue. So see it starts spreading on there and I think that creates a really cool effect. And if you feel like you have too much water on, on your paper, you can always just take your um, paper towel 
and you can blot off some of the area to dry it. Maybe I didn't want blue in that little area right there, but I do want blue back there. So I'm going to let it stay there and then I'm going to add a different color to this area. So just play around with this. It's a fun technique to learn how to use those, these watercolor paints and it's a lot of fun to experiment with them and play around. Okay, and if I didn't want that there like that bright, look, go ahead and blot it and it gets lighter. Or maybe I want to go ahead and add just a little bit more color on top. You can do that too. Okay, so have fun with this. You can make a series of these and um, see all the different types of creations that you can make from it because it's a lot of fun and it's easy. Okay. All right, you have fun painting and drawing, and I'd love to see your artwork uploaded to the Facebook page, Yellow Spot Sun. Have a great week, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.